burnout mats getting pushed away. Start, I mean drag, start. A little bit of a side crossed winning end again. Two nine five at forty five. I'm going to do one last hit, and I'm going to make another minor change, <laughs> meaning add more weight. Drag, start. This thing is laser straight. Read two nine five at forty four. Man, I just can't help it. I got to do one more to confirm. I know, just don't watch it. <laughs> I'm just having a blast, man. This is what this is all about, man. This is all about just having a stinking blast. And I really am right now. Drag, start, let's roast these tires. Read two nine zero oh at forty four. That's beautiful. Okay, <laughs> I see what I need to do. I'm literally going to add more weight right to where the weight is being added. It seems to be a very good balance right now. So, GoPro off. All right. So this is what's happening right now. Take off my hat. Alright. So what is happening right now is because it's hooking up, it's causing a lot more stress on both the ESC and motor. They're hotter than last time. So it's a good and a bad sign. Bad sign because I'm overworking. Good sign because it's working so there's like that fine line or fine balance so what I wanted to do right on camera right here I just want to check and see what the um, I want to see what the cell voltage is on this pack it's got a little bit of warmth to it but nothing nothing to be nervous of so we're at 49% so we're close to running that thing down so uh, cell one, 3.857, cell two, 3.850, cell three, hey, guess what? There is no cell three. So there we go. So um, I feel pretty, uh, pretty pleased with that. So <laughs> you can see it fluctuate. <laughs> 3849, 3857. So I feel very um, happy with the direction that this uh, drag slash is going at. So now I'm just going to check the GoPro footage so that I can literally see exactly what this car is doing because otherwise you can't tell.
Okay. Ripped out. So check that out. Just doing a couple of runs, and no, it's not the hell yeah, Brother Stick is doing it. But just doing a couple of runs, I tore the um, the bead out of the bead lock, and I am pretty confident that the reason why that happened was from that little uh, bad accident. I think. I'll have to check the footage. That's what this is all about. Had to let up, pulled a little bit too to that uh, right. Seemed like a good hit. Relatively straight. Kicked out the floor mat. And on the return trip, it's again. Drag, start. Should have rolled out of it on that one. I should not have even tried to stay into it. Going to end up with something. Assuming that should be pretty good. One last. I oddly have a soft spot for this car. <laughs> you think I wouldn't care? Wet street ripping. <laughs> Wet street ripping.
oddly have a soft spot for this car. Don't know why, I just do. So I am going to attempt 132 on this thing. I'm going to try and keep it down the center. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to go drag, start, throw this thing over here, give the tires a little burn, and just see what this thing could do because I never ended up seeing what this thing could do on that uh, data analyzer. <laughs> can do nothing. Can definitely do a spin out. God. Got a little water inside of there. Read. <laughs> 581 at 27. Killer. It's an amazing speed. Drag, start. God, I hate this brake on this thing. Let's see, what we got Reed. No, we did better. Four eleven to twenty nine. I think what I'll do this time. Drag, start, warm up the tires. God, this thing is dog slow. God. Brake is terrible on this thing. 542 at 30. <laughs> uh, Alright. Out with the DR10. Roads finally dry enough. Still water kind of on the sides. The side's wet there. That side's wet. Sun definitely is not going to come out, but I feel the road's dry enough. I want to make a couple of hits because. I never ran this thing with this GPS and I want to see what this thing does. So that's the only reason why I rode it. We have um, the Traxxas MTs in the back. This basically is stock except for shock modifications in the front, some modifications in the back. I can't remember if this thing is going to go straight or not. It probably won't. Uh, I do have shims in my pocket to toss a couple shims in there. But uh, stock electronics, and we are running a uh, that little race pack that I run in the tracks. So we'll see what this thing can actually do. Immediately. And why is it hooking to that? Here's the crazy part. The only thing I don't understand is why is it hooking here look at this the car is hooking to the left and the left has no shims in it guy, guy. isn't that the right side why you like that doesn't even make sense guy, guy. sometimes it's you that doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense car is 
all over the place. Jeez. I do want to get a run out of it. At least I want to get a hit out of it. It's going to be a nightmare to run. <laughs> it will eventually go straight, kind of, as long as I steer it to go straight. But I have no idea what this thing does for time. Hella slow. That's what it does. What the hell is that? Oh my god. <laughs> Why does that sound like pinion grindage? Reed? <laughs> 382 at 30. It's actually not bad though. But why do I have grindage? I don't even know. Okay, back out. 24 tooth pinion. I did try to stuff a 25. I could get the 25 to fit, but it was way too tight and it was binding. Uh, the spur and pinion meshed together. I could file it, but that's not the route I'm going to go. I do have um, smaller spur gears, and then obviously I can swap out pinions and yeah. <laughs> All right, so I literally, this thing is just called Sketch Monster, because this thing is just so sketchy. That's actually a great name. I kind of like the sound of that. Sketch Monster. I was nowhere near being able to go straight. Shouldn't even read that. <laughs> Drag, start. Like I said, Sketch Monster. Sketch monster. Huh. Oh my god. Just touch the brake, man, and it's an immediate spin out. Read. 3.75 at 33. God, I just cannot get this thing. Just this thing never. Well, I can't say it never went straight. At one point, I was straight, and now I'm back to not being straight. Oh, I, I could be taking a different way. All right, back out, drag, start. The brake is just too strong. It tracks straight, just as launch is horrible. Read. 365 at 33. Not even pulling a G. Not even pulling a G, G. Guy, guy. Don't even. Drag, start. I'm just gonna try and roll into the uh, throttle. Oh my god! <laughs> just can't. <laughs> I will make this thing go straight stock at some point. Read. Did go the 132, 4.91 at 26, baby. 
They did still pull almost a G. It actually did better on G's. <laughs> All right. Maybe if I heat the tires up by just giving it a burn, like right there. Little things are coming back to my memory. You'll see what I'm talking about. Drag, start. And that was straight. Wow. That was literally like the straightest I think it's ever been. Now see, that's what I remember it doing. That's not the straightest that it's ever been. That's what it was doing when um, I was done last year with this thing. So that was actually a good launch. So I guess I need to do a pre-burn to a roll to just a full trigger, and then it seems to work. Read. 3.71 at 33, 9.6 Gs. So what did I do? I did a full burn way back here. Brought it to here. Hit drag. Start. Start. Oh. <laughs> and that's when I remember. <laughs> ah. That's the old DR10, baby. Come on, team associated. That's the DR-10 that I remember. <laughs> Be on its lid. Oh my goodness. Let's see if it's all right. Probably fine. It it has serious roll to it, so it's like it needs a front and rear roll bar. Well, you kind of are right. It does need roll bars, but I think you so, need sway bar. I'm not even gonna read that. Ah, I have to. Read. <laughs> there's some good, there's some good uh, stuff. Oh my god. All right. Back out of it so that I'm ready. If you notice, for some odd reason, if I do a reverse burnout and then a forward burnout, the car just seems to go straight. And this is what I remember. Drag. Start. Now that was straight. See what I mean? Oh, but off-road. <laughs> See, the car is so consistently inconsistent, it makes it very tough in its stock form to drag racer in reality. Reed, it should actually be a pretty good time. 362 at 33 at, at, at uh, 0.92 Gs. All right. Watch what it does right here when I line up. Oh. Drag, start. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so consistently inconsistent. DR10, baby. Inconsistently consistent. Oh, oh. Oh, it's just grass. And I'm rubbing through. Stop. I didn't even make it. I think the tires are warm now. Drag, start. <sighs> Steering dual rate. I'm going to turn that down even more this time. Read. 375 at 33. 
1.7 G. So the tires are hooking up by doing those little burns. Drag, start, crank that dual rate down. Yep. See, once I crank the dual rate down, when I need it, it's not there. Read. Come on. Go away. I don't want that. Drag. Start. Ah. You just won't go in the grass. <laughs> and that's why with the DR10, it was always such a fight. Tires are actually burning out pretty good. Oh, got an issue with the body here in the bumper. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, this is just my beast. Eventually, I will get this thing to go. It's just not just yet. Oh, I rocked it out. No way. This car is just all over the road. <laughs> Massive pedaling. What am I doing? There we go. Drag, drag, start. Sketch monster. Read. 405 at 32. <laughs> 
All right, that's good enough. I'm out of here. All right. So this is the whole point about this RC drag racing kind of stuff, right? Because in reality, for somebody like me, I'm just getting out there and I'm having fun. And I'm kind of teaching myself, learning what each kind of like car needs. Now, people keep asking if I've got the low C22S. What do you think? So anyways, between the Traxxas Drag Slash and my team associated DR10. Now you have to remember the DR10 was my first like experience with RC drag racing. And when I did put the car away, I was finally going straight. Now I've changed up a couple of things. Uh, number one was throwing on the Traxxas tires because I didn't have any more DR10 tires. I didn't feel like throwing on the bead locks because in reality from what i remember the bead locks for the type of uh situation that i've got going for that dr10 right now throwing on a heavy you know tire setup would have really totally upset everything and i know that at least with those traxxas mts given that they are a fatter meat i still believed that the traction was going to be there and I think I kind of proved it. Now, this car has always been, you know, what I called it. I called it a sketch monster because that's what it is. Now, take the Traxxas D... Yeah, take the Traxxas DR10. Take the Traxxas Slash. Yes, it is a couple of bucks more. Yes, a couple of bucks. But when you take that couple of bucks and you translate that into smiles for miles, the difference in price between the DR10 and the Traxxas Drag Slash being RTR... There is, for me, a very clear difference. That's right, I said it. It's a very clear difference. You're paying or you're getting what you pay for. Out of the box. OTB. You are point blank getting what you pay for. At least that's my feeling. So anyways, this is RC Guy Garage. Hopefully you're out ripping something. We've had nothing but rain crap weather. So, yeah. The only thing that I'm ripping is nothing. Well, I'm ripping apart my yard still. So anyways, you can see we got the uh we got the garden in. And I'll tell you right now, without this thing right here, this little red tractor that people have been calling it, this is a Mahindra uh Emax 20S with the uh backhoe and the front bucket and this thing has been an absolute dream. Um got the garden in. Check the alignment for those fence posts. So anyways, garden's in. Uh, we do have some stuff going on here. You can see we still have kind of a semi-drainage issue, but not really because I haven't been able to. I haven't been able to perform my work type functions the way I'm normally used to because I hurt myself and whatever. <laughs> but anyways, we got the garden in. So... We've got uh, uh, four rows, so four rows of two different carrots, so carrots, carrots. Uh, right here, this is actually beets. Beets right here. This whole back section right here is all corn. This whole section right here is going to be all tomatoes. And then foolishly, somehow, I forgot to buy zucchini. Me! Like, I mean, I love zucchini. Along the front here, we have um, something. I can't remember what it is. And then in these little mounds, we have, I think this first row is cucumber. And I think this next row is butternut squash. And then we have this row right here. That's all eggplant. And then in these blobs, we have something else. I think spaghetti squash or something. I can't remember. Actually, you know what? Spaghetti squash might be that first row. I don't know. Either way, to be quite honest with you, the way I do gardening, I don't care. I'm putting plants in the ground and I just watch things grow. So anyways, we're going to see some uh, greenery start popping up pretty soon. I want to say probably like there'll be an update within a week or two and we should see some uh, plants going. Am I behind? Yes, I am. I'm behind because I got hurt. So stupidity, man. I'm telling you. Um, used to have that, uh, superhero kind of like, you know, whatever. I'll never get hurt. I'm a superhero, you know, yeah. 
It's definitely not the case. So anyways, uh, this is RC Guy Garage. I'm out. What are you doing? Get out there and rip something. I don't care what it is. Rip an RC. Do a burnout in your car. Your real car. That's what I mean. Do a burnout in your car. Also, if you haven't checked out SRC Garage, you definitely got to go check out SRC Garage. It's an um, awesome channel. So anyways, I'm out. I'll see you guys later. Maybe with a Vortex.